When it comes to picking a new pillow, there are so many options on the market, it can be really overwhelming. What's up world, it's Tony, the sleep accessories editor and therefore pillow expert for Mattress Clarity. If you're looking for a new pillow, I'm here to help you out and I'm gonna walk you through how to pick the pillow for you. I build everything you need to know into three major considerations, so stick around. Remember, if you wanna read more in-depth information about pillows, mattresses, and bedding, you can find it at mattressclarity.com and I've also put some coupons to some of my favorite pillows down below. Let's get started. One important thing to note is that we may earn a bit of commission if you choose to buy this through our affiliate link in the description below. This helps us maintain our testing operations and keeps all of our content free to you. Back sleepers need a pillow that has a loft or the pillow's height of around three to five inches. This is gonna keep your head in a neutral position, which is the name of the game here. Three to four inches are gonna work better for light and average weight back sleepers, while four to five inches is probably gonna work better for heavier back sleepers. But again, you want to find something that blends both comfort and support. One of my best pillows for back sleeping is the Brooklyn Bedding Talalay Latex Pillow because it combines comfort and support and it comes in two different lofts. Moving on to side sleepers, I am one myself, so I am especially qualified to help out here. Side sleepers need a pillow that ranges in loft from about five to six inches tall. This height is what's gonna keep your head elevated and in a neutral position because side sleepers don't want their head craning too far down, which will cause neck pain later on. And firmer pillows tend to work better for side sleepers as well, but we'll talk about firmness a little bit later. My favorite pillow for side sleeping is a pillow designed by side sleepers for side sleepers. It's the Pillow Cube. It has a perfect loft and it's gonna be nice and supportive. It's designed to fit into your neck and your shoulder, so this is the one to look at for side sleeping. Finally, we have stomach sleepers. Stomach sleepers don't want a pillow that's any taller than three inches, and that's because your head is already turned to the side, so anything taller will push your neck up, which again is a recipe for neck pain developing. My favorite pillow for stomach sleeping is the Coop Home Goods Adjustable Pillow, and that's because, like its name suggests, it's an adjustable pillow so you can take out a lot of the fill, make it nice and flat, and it's very soft for stomach sleeping. The second consideration for picking a new pillow is firmness. Now, admittedly, this is definitely the most subjective consideration, but keeping this in mind with your preference and your sleeping position can play a role. Starting with soft pillows, if you love that classic cushion soft feeling to your pillow, then obviously go for that. Stomach sleepers actually will enjoy soft pillows the most because often you can compress a soft pillow much easier and get it flat enough for stomach sleeping. Now we have medium firm pillows. Medium firm pillows blend comfort and support perfectly and they work best for back sleepers. This is because you're still gonna get some nice comfort, but they're just firm enough to provide some good support too. Lastly, we have firm pillows. Firm pillows are gonna work best for side sleepers because your head is not gonna compress a firm pillow that much, which will keep your head and neck in a neutral position while you're side sleeping. But really, if you're looking for support, a firm pillow is the way to go. Consider the materials when you're picking a new pillow as well. This can influence things like the feel of the pillow and the price as well. There are tons of different types of pillows, but the three most common I've encountered are down, down alternative, and memory foam pillows. Down is the most traditional fill for a pillow, and it often combines down clusters and feathers, but they're gonna provide that really soft cushioning feel. And down pillows do tend to deflate a little bit more than other types of pillows, but that makes it ideal pick for stomach sleeping because you do need a flat pillow. Because down is an animal product, they do tend to be a little bit pricier than other types of pillows out there. Then we have down alternative, which as the name suggests is an alternative to down. This is a synthetic material and the feel can go either way. Depending on how much fill is in the pillow, they can feel really soft or they can feel really firm. But the best thing about down alternative pillows is that they are the most accessible and often the most affordable types of pillow. Because let's face it, I'm sure you've seen a $10 down alternative pillow somewhere. The last material I've seen most commonly used for pillows is foam, and even that can be broken up into a few more subcategories. 
you've got single slabs of memory foam, latex foam, and shredded memory foam. Uh, thank you, Robbie. <laughs> Single pieces of memory foam are gonna work great if you're looking for something super slow moving and will contour to your head and neck, and they often provide really good pressure relief too. Shredded foam, on the other hand, is gonna work better if you're a hot sleeper because there's more room for airflow in between these little pieces of foam, and shredded memory foam pillows are often adjustable, meaning you can take out this foam to adjust its firmness or its loft too. Finally, the last type of foam is latex, and this is gonna feel much different than traditional memory foam. It's gonna feel really springy, really responsive, and very easy to move around on. And latex often works better for hot sleepers because if you get like a single slab of latex foam, those pillows are often perforated with holes to allow for airflow. So if you're a hot sleeper, this is the one for you. So those are the three considerations you should keep in mind when picking a new pillow. Quick recap, they are your sleeping position, the firmness you prefer, and the materials used in that pillow. Remember, if you want to find in-depth information about pillows and mattresses and bedding, you can find it at mattressclarity.com. And to help you navigate the marketplace a little easier, I've put some coupons for some of my favorite pillows down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.